Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got yet another beer unboxing for you. This time it's from Twisted Hops who are down in East Anglia and this is uh, another beer reviewer's favourite bottle shop, I think. Uh, Mark's Beer Reviews, uh, good friends with the guy that owns Twisted Hops and even has a discount code which I believe is MBR10, Mark's Beer Reviews 10, yeah MBR10. Um, I think that's still active so uh, try and Try it if you fancy ordering something. Uh, but I bought this because they had a couple of cans of Verdun's Putty left, which I think, as everyone knows, is a pretty um, pretty hype for beer. Uh, I'm not really sure if I'm going to like it, to be honest, but let's see what else I bought. It is very well sealed. Okay, interesting box set. Quite complex in here. Not quite anything I've seen before. We've got a couple of beer mats, one from Burnt Mill Brewery, uh, which I don't believe I have any beer from, and one from Three Blind Mice Brewery. Again, I don't think I have anything from, but beer mats are cool, so thank you very much. A handwritten letter from, handwritten letter, handwritten postcard thing um, on the back. It says, hi Tom, thanks for the order, hope you enjoy the beers, let us know what you think. Cheers, Sarah and Lawrence. Oh, thank you very much, Sarah and Lawrence, nice little... Nice little bit of extra stuff there. Now, first thing in here is this. Um, great little box set. I'll try and show you it once I've taken this out. But this, I believe, is not beer. This is a Twisted Hops stemmed Allegra glass, I believe it is. This is one of these big fancy stem glasses, but this is a pint one. Um, I love this style of glass, but I've only got uh, a little 330 one that's not stemmed and a stemmed one that's not quite the same shape, but also only 330. So the fact that this holds a pint, I'm very happy about this. should make uh, reviewing some beers even easier, I reckon. Um, and it's some nice artwork on there, the Twisted Hops logo, as you can see. So as we're saying, the inside of this box looks pretty interesting. If you look in there, look. It's just very well organised. It's even got, obviously, the big spaces where the glass was, and then all the cans stored underneath. So let's find out what's in here. It's all cardboard too, which is very environmentally friendly, so much appreciated. Rightio. First up, uh, we have a beer called Stoop, which is an American Pilsner from Mash Gang. Not familiar with them, but it looked interesting and I uh, fancy starting to stock up on a few lagers and pilsners for uh, the inevitable warm weather that will start coming in in the next few months. Then we have, from Left Handed Giant, Solitude, a coffee, hazelnut and vanilla stout at 7%. Some absolutely ripping artwork on that. Look at that can. Fantastic. I only had one beer from LHG before and it was excellent, so very excited to try that. And then, we're on to a brewery that Mark likes to talk about quite a lot, uh, Ampersand. This is their 1870 runner Heritage Porter, which uh, if they're as good as I'm told, that should be absolutely excellent. And then a brewery called Utopian. Uh, is that right? Is that the brewery name? Yeah, Utopian Brewing. This is their British Pilsner. And I think Utopian only make logs and Pilsners, but to craft spec, I believe. If it's the brewery I'm thinking of. And another one from Utopian. This is their dark lager. Again, not had a dark lager before, really, with the exception of um, Budvar. So that will also be quite interesting. And then a collab between Ampersand and Leon Sea Brewery, Sand and Stee, an extra special bitter. And finally, the one that everyone's raving about. Vedant Putty. I will review this soon because kind of the hype train is here already. Um, it's Azaka Galaxy and Mosaic. A lot of people get very excited about this every time it comes out. 
I don't know if I'm that excited, if I'm honest, because, I mean, double IPAs rarely blow me away, but, I mean, got to get on the hype train, right? Got to find out how good it really can be. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's the lineup. Are there any of these you would like me to review first? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, but if not, then they will. some of them at least will get reviewed in the next few weeks on the channel. So um, that's it. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. If you haven't already, subscribed. If you will be so kind. And I'll catch you soon. Cheers.